Hi, I'm Mel from Two Sleep Hits, and today I'll be showing you how to create this three text blend design using the blend tool in Illustrator. Alright, let's go! Okay, first up, always make sure to choose your color palette so that you can get um, the colors easily by using the eyedropper tool afterwards. You can get inspiration for the color palette from Pinterest as well. Okay, so now you type text two. Create the text. For this, we will use the word blend and change the font to maybe uh, Gotham Black, which is the most versatile font. Okay, adjust the size and also the alignment. Alright, so for this, we want to use the blend to which is under object as well. So before that, we will create a um, a background for this this artwork first so go to shape and draw out square and send it to the back you can choose which color you want send it to the back this is the background and then you change the color of the text blend as well you can use the eyedropper to to see which color you like so for this we we'll choose this red bright red orangey red duplicate it duplicate your text bring it 45 degrees to the bottom and bring to the back of the text make sure to select the first text the one in front and um, to copy you can use command c if you know the, the shortcut command c to copy it all right now you select both of it and go to object blend make now go back to the object blend blend options specific steps change it to 100 usually 100 works for most all right, then now Command F to paste the word that you copied just now in front of the entire thing and change it to the color of the background. Um, for this, I reckon we will also want to add a stroke color to it because so that it's more obvious. So here we are adding the stroke color to it. Okay, there we go. And increase the stroke point. And that's it. We're done. Super easy. Just one function, just one blend tool. And you can create this design. You can use any words you want, any codes. It will just look like that. Of course, the specific steps you can adjust accordingly to which you think look best. So yeah, this is it. Alright. Okay, for this next design, we will add the two colors that we're going to use to the color palette. Go to text and, and type out the word we want. For this, we will type out individually each letter, each text to each letter to form the word we want. So B L E N D. We're using the same word for now. So let's just duplicate each of it and change the letter to form the text that we want. Okay, so for now, we will select all of it and change the color to pink. Now that we select the first one, duplicate it, bring it down, 45 degrees angle, and change the color of the one at the bottom to the background color. Like this. Yep. Change the background color. And we want to blend it subtly into the background. So same thing, we use the same tool. Object, blend, make. And this is how it looks like. Oh, I forgot to mention to always copy the first text and paste it in front like just now, the first design. So command F to paste it in front and you can see that the word the letter is more obvious. So we will do the same for all of them. Same thing, go to object, go to make, go to blend, go to make and paste the letter in front so that it looks readable in a sense. So this is a very very um, subtle design, very simple way to do this very subtle text blend design as the colors are blending in with the background. So you can see a very 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 little blend design in this, in this artwork itself. But you know, instead of having just plain text, there's a very subtle blend color, I would say, depending on 
what color you choose for the entire album. So maybe if you choose a more obvious color for the background, for the for the one for the duplicate text, then maybe you look less subtle, maybe. But for now, we're doing using this to make it look subtle. So that's it. Super easy. Very subtle blend. Very beautiful. Very simple. And that's done. So for this next design, we will use the same color palette as design 1 and we will same thing, select the text, use the same word, use the same font, increase the size and change the color. For this, we will want to add a, an outline color to it because the design is based on the layers of the different colors. So let's just add a pink, no, a green outline to the pink text so it has a very bright pink and green design. Increase the stroke. You can click on the stroke too as well to increase the, I mean to change the properties. You can change the weight, you can change the alignment of the stroke to align it to the outside, to the inside, to the middle, and also the cap for it to be rounded or or like sharp. Yeah so that's just a simple tip. So you can see it's a very beautiful pink and green. Very very bright. Oh, well, too bright for my eyes actually. But we'll make do. Okay. So for now, we'll just have to duplicate it like we did. Bring it 45 degrees now. Send it to the back. Copy this. And then select both. Go to the object and then make. For this, we want to change the blend options because this is not the design we want. So, go to blend options. The steps, we will have to change the number of the steps. So, just now it was 100, which works for most of the design that you see in design 1. For this, we want to decrease the number. You can see how many layers you want it to be shown. So, the lesser the number, the lesser layers there are. And then the more you increase, the more you can see the layers because it's just um, blended together. So maybe you just go for 10 to 11. Yep. And this is it. So we can expand the appearance of it. We can actually shift it. So if you select the first word, you can actually shift it or if you use the direct selection tool you can actually select the point and shift it shift the spine and the design the design of the entire thing so you can play around with it if you want to shift the direction of the design of the of the text that you are going for maybe downwards maybe straight line or maybe upwards like this yeah you can play with it so that's a pretty cool trick okay so we'll go back to what we were using before this angle this 45 degrees angle actually it's negative 45 right? okay um expand it now ungroup it as well select the first word and lock it command 2 to lock the first word and then we select the second one behind and change the color after changing color we lock it as well so my advice is to lock each layer after you change the color so that's easier to select the ones behind so the shortcut to lock your to lock your layer your your your, your design your text is command 2 which i think windows should be control 2 and yeah so you lock and change the color and you lock it again you change the ones behind it's easier to select once you lock the ones in front so now i change it to pink Red, green, yellow, pink, red, green, yellow. Let's see how it looks like. Pretty cool, right? It looks like a really good tool you can use for Pride Month or any other design, really. Okay, so this is how you look eventually. 
you can change the first text to a different color if it doesn't blend properly mm, let's change it to maybe yellow yep much better Right, so this is how you create this layering kind of design in Adobe Illustrator and I hope you like this tutorial. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Do follow us on Instagram, TikTok and also visit our website and drop us an email or DM if you need any help with creative services. Also, if you want to learn more on how to better your design skills, do like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And... Till next time, bye!